Welcome to Good Mythical More. Are these products that have been hyped big time from Trader Joe's worth all that hype? Let's sample them and find out. Corn ribs? But first, how about a random disturbing fact? Uh-huh, how about it? There have been reports of vacuum toilets commonly used on planes and cruise ships sucking the rectum out of people. Ooh, do not make a seal with your butt cheeks. You got to... You got to have, you got to have an air hole somewhere. Is there a warning on those the things? Back, like, yeah, you do not want. You cannot form a seal. You ever taken a dump on a plane? Uh, to be sure, I have. <laughs> I mean, I try to avoid it, but I mean, there's. I think maybe one time I did. Sometimes you got. I mean, I I've been on a. You don't sit down to pee on a plane, do you? Uh, uh, I did last most recent time I flew because oh. of turbulence. I, probably, I had to sit down. I probably should. I had to sit down to pee, and I held one hand up like this and one hand on the door, on like the handle, and I, here I am trying to pee. What and you, not, and not. What you're holding your, with? Nothing? Just, it that's, was all, the, that's the problem. <laughs> well, it gets sucked right down the, right out the plane. Well, it fails under its own weight. Daddy, what's that? <laughs> okay, Gwyneth, come in here. Please break up this conversation. Oh my God. I'm gonna keep this conversation going. Yeah. You ever dookied on a plane? Constantly. <laughs> <laughs> That's your seat on every plane. Yeah. Don't use no, your I, potty mouth. I don't but you can't, sorry, but you also can't. I don't can't, have a ticket. You can't do safety flushes on those toilets. There's, it's explosive. No, yeah. I mean, it's really dangerous stuff. It scares you. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Uh, Gwyneth, so you're over there at sport. You're tasting She's stuff a, all the time. Yes. She's over here. Uh, Smaller than us. And Look how big we are. Go. Can you d help us understand the way people get so excited about Trader Joe's and their new products? So I think people get excited about new products in general, but yeah, when Trader Joe's yep. comes out with new things, they have like a tendency to get just like a lot of play on social media. Um, and people just get really, I mean, there are like fan Instagram accounts and stuff like that, like where people are just constantly trying new Trader Joe's products. How do we feel about Trader Joe's? I feel like we went through I a Trader Joe's it. phase at the okay. McLaughlin household. Mm -hmm. And then there's a few things that we'll pick up from there, but actually something about the pandemic and- Yep. Yeah. Uh, they Trader didn't have Joe's delivery. Didn't do Instacart. Yes, that's true. And so it like it really hurt. Like we don't we, we don't we don't go to Trader Joe's. It's like we got out of the habit. got out of the habit. So we're like Same. we're just just straight up Ralph's folks. Yeah, that happened to me too. Like every time you drive by a Trader Joe's, there'd be like a line of people outside, and it was like and there was like you I'm could be in the store that. for a certain amount of time, that. and it was like I don't know should I be in the store at all? Yeah. yeah. But it, but this is the type of stuff that's going to bring me back to the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it will be half dipped chocolate and vanilla flavored. Sandwich. Sandwich what bars. is that? What I think it is. So I thought we would try these first because they're frozen and actively melting right now. Yes. Um. So these are called Figo bars, and what? they are like half Klondike bar huh. and half ice cream sandwich. We like the idea, that's right? Sm that's smart. Yeah, it's a little bit. Right. I mean, it's cool that two for one. How it's does nice Trader looking. Joe's do this? You know, it would it typically be like a machine, like Figo. <laughs> yeah. Like Trader Joe's, like is someone already making this stuff and then Trader Joe's buys them out, or does Trader Joe's have like an, an R R and D department? You know? I'm gonna bite right That's in the middle. That's a good question. I I'm bet it's right, a mix. Get of both things. of them. Oh, you get both of them. I'm gonna do one and then That's the other. Smart. That seems so risky though. But I like that. Hold on, is it not real ice cream? It's frozen dessert. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why it tastes like crap. It tastes like sand. Oh my God. Why is it so bad? People were freaking out about these on the internet. It's a great idea, but wait, there's no ice cream in it. What is frozen dessert? Where does it, say? it doesn't say ice cream anywhere. It's not the ice cream. Frozen dessert, yeah. half dipped. The cookie part like, is not great. I was gonna say, I think there's a side of it that's better than another side of it. And the, the cookie, cookie part, is like tastes like health food. Is it will, health food? Um, I will say these are pretty low cal. I think it's like 350 calories mm -hmm. a bar, okay. which is like basic. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like diet food, right? Oh my god! And that's um, a serving of two. You can eat two of these. 
Yeah. That That's d- crazy. I'm not into you, it. I don't know if you want to. But. Why would you want to eat two? Two of these is three. So it's 125. No, what's half of 350? One. 175. 175. It's always confusing to me when things can be pretty low calorie and very high in fat because these still have 17 grams of fat. But why is a serving size two of these? I don't know. Because they had to cut two things in half and put them back together. <laughs> Something like so that. So the only way they could do the math it's was It's a so great idea, go but it needs to be with real ice cream. Klondike needs to do it. Mm-hmm. They don't have to invent it. Klondike, y'all jump on this. Take Pass, it over. Pass, Figo. Okay, so yeah. that was the sports consensus as well. Good. Like, we just didn't really get the hype. They just, they don't, they're fun to look at. It's yeah. a fun concept. Cool concept, but, bad execution. But terrible execution, I think. I would never go out of my way for one of It kind of matches our ensemble Ooh. here. I like that. Now, I'm very excited about these things. Can I just say that? Oh my God, I love Leprechaun movies so much. The one where they go to Vegas is like my favorite movie which, of all time. Which number is that? I don't know. It must remember. be seven. Did you three. see? Three. That's the Vegas Oh, there one. it is. Oh, yeah. three. They go to Vegas. What yeah. about in, in space? Did you see them in space? I don't think I watched that one. What about In the Hood? In the Hood, I have seen, yes. What about Back to the Hood? That one I have not seen. Okay. Right. But now I have well, that's five things and six. to do. Yeah. You know what you're this doing evening. this weekend. Yeah. Here's Leprechaun one over here. That's the only one I've seen. I think, yeah, Warwick Davis is an excellent actor and elevates Leprechaun movies. Before I try these, I'm going to say that I feel like this is right down my alley. The idea of, I've really gotten into pickle brining all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And this is dill seasoned uncured beef franks. So we've got dill seasoned beef franks. Sounds kind of bonkers, doesn't it? Man, I think I'm gonna like these. Okay. These, this is the one product that's, that Sport has not tried as of yet. Oh, really? So this is you my first time. First. This is my first time trying them too. Air but fryer recommended. It's like we're to the point now where there's air fryer yeah. instructions on stuff, which is nice. Uh, grab, we all grab, love grab like, like, I don't know, pigs in a blanket. I did not expect these to be as like breaded as they are. They're like. Did you just swallow a, a yawn <laughs> yeah. or a burp? No, it was a burp. No. I thought it was a yawn. Let's call it a yawn. I, I did not. Let's call it a yawn. I thought you did. I didn't want to expire. I thought you did a pretty good job of it. Lane didn't have to. He didn't have to. I didn't see you at all. I just heard. I heard your voice. No, I know. I'm constantly belching. You pay me to eat for a living. What can I do? I wanted these to be better. Can I just say that as someone who likes hot dogs and pickle stuff, I wanted to like these more than I do. I kind of like them. Uh, I didn't say it's that I don't like it. I, th- I thought it was going to be like. I think this would be so much better in pastry, like a pastry puff kind of mm. situation. But I like the yep, flavor of right. the cocktail weenie. I think this would be a fun little special like, plate at a party. I'd like to dip it in some mustard. Mm-hmm. That would help. Mm-hmm. We don't but have any like mustard. There's like a lot of breading. I think. These We're are kind of on the these are worth this These are mm-hmm. worth trying. Worth trying, but not a hearty endorsement. Worth trying. Is yeah. that is that a, a sticker that you got on the sports? I thing? think that would be like like um we do everything in like spork scores from one to ten. So I think worth trying would be like a solid like an eight. Okay. You know? Okay. Like that seems, seems a little generous. We're not freaking out for it, but a little generous. Um these are just French fries. Those are just French fries. But I don't we're see gonna that package. Okay. So oh. what we're gonna do is try these new pizza and ketchup seasonings. They, um, so Trader Joe's came out with these pretty this recently. Um, they, the one that we have at our house is the cheese one. The cheese one's really yeah, good. Yeah, because that one goes on uh, the popcorn. popcorn. Peacorn, yeah. <clears throat> and I think these, like, you could eat these on popcorn, too. Oh, my gosh. It comes, oh, my God. It comes, out, <laughs> comes out fast. And there's, like, I mean, yeah, like, puffs of oh, chemicals yeah. floating through the air now. First. Grab you. One. Okay. So this is the ketchup one. We sampled these just like we lick our hands, and sprinkle, like again, like a, you're doing a tequila shot. But. Wow. The ketchup is really interesting because wherever you think to use ketchup, hmm. but you don't want to, what, actually <laughs> use liquids? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My I God, on airplanes when you're sitting in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful when you breathe because you put so much on. Mm. I don't. 
It's I okay. like I like the ketchup. Okay. It's like I really can't taste it. So I think kind of the issue with it is just like doesn't have. It's not robust. You'd think it would have like concentrated flavor in it. It doesn't. It's subtle, but yeah. it's very subtle. Yeah. So I, th- I don't think pizza seasoning is 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 worth getting excited about. But I think that sorry. Ketchup flavored sprinkles, <clears throat> it's better. I think that that is. Uh, mm. I think is I think is worth trying because it's so novel and okay. it actually tastes good. Mm-hmm. I actually pizza. kind of like the pizza one on the fries. We try, Yeah, like I said, we just like ate it straight like psychos, but. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now too. <laughs> it, there's a predominant. <clears throat> ca- like is it? Oregano. Ca- I was gonna say oregano. Tomato powder, right. paprika. Mm-hmm. I think there is dried oregano, but it's very low and I think we're tasting paprika. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Too much paprika. Yeah, and paprika is not like a. That's not a pizza spice. Where I come yeah, from, it's. I, I think it's more for color. Yeah, paprika but, for color. So we're recommending the ketchup one over the pizza one, but I would like. Um, I don't know. I'd give this a shot on popcorn. Yeah, I think I would too. It's a little too sweet. The ketchup's kind of sweet. It is sweet. I don't know. So I'm still kind of here. I mean, where did you guys end up? So actually, yeah, the second ingredient on the ketchup one is sugar. So it's super sweet. It is sweet, yeah, for like a savory condiment. Um, we, I think, landed somewhere like in the middle with these. It's like they're not, they're yeah. not terrible. I wouldn't say it's worth the height then. No, but you have a knife. Are there a any spreadable knife? Are there any what? Knife? I, I mean, like, there's. It's a good idea though. I like the idea of like concentrating a flavor of like a dish and putting it in powder form in to theory. apply to other foods, but. This is pretty exciting. Maybe some other here. ones be better. Hot cocoa inspired cream so, cheese. So, chocolate cream cheese, but. Has that not existed co- before now? I mean, it has to have, right? Chocolate this cre- is, cream cheese definitely exists. Yeah. But this is hot cocoa. What do they say to do with this? I think they said, like, put it on Gingerly. fruit, fruit and bagels and. I'm just gonna make one big bagel. That Fruit's a good split. idea. I've never put cream cheese on fruit before, but hot cocoa, and then just not? rip that apart. Why not? Why not cut it into fours? <laughs> so whoever likes it the most gets an extra piece. I mean, I'm a big fan of like honey walnut. I love that. Yeah. Cream cheese. Mm-hmm. I think that's my favorite cream cheese. Yeah, I don't gravitate toward like sweet bagels in general, but let's see what we think of. And I think because it calls itself Whoops. hot cocoa, it should not just taste like chocolate. It should right. somehow communicate hot cocoa, which is hard because it's cold. It kind of tastes like... You got some cinnamon in there? Icing. Mm-hmm. Like frosting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would call it chocolate frosting, but then you would just get frosting. Yeah. It's but got it's guar gum it would, in it. It has... Cardamom? Guar gum. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Guar gum. Guar gum. He was also in the Leprechaun movie. <laughs> yep. Cocoa processed with alkali. I like it. It does taste good, but I'm it trying is... to figure out why I should like it more than just a chocolate flavored cream cheese. Mm-hmm. Well, because the cream cheese comes through, it's complimentary to it. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's almost height worthy. Okay. I think it's very tasty, but I think that it's marketing. I think mm-hmm. the fact that, you're like, oh, it's hot cocoa inspired mm-hmm. versus just calling it chocolate cream cheese spread, which you can get. Yes. Yeah, I agree. It's a um, different flavor, though. I don't. I just don't think it brings enough. There's just not enough cocoa in there for my my taste. But it's still cream cheese, so it still tastes good. But so, it has three gums in there, not just guar gum. It has. C- Carob bean gum and xanthan gum. Oof. Three gums, that's what they called it. They should have called it three gums cheese spread. Yeah. So, so far, you've not given us anything that's worth the hype. So, I and wanted, does it to, all come I down wanted to, to see what you guys thought. Like, let's see what's hype worthy, what's Because we're not afraid to hype something if it needs it. This was like Speaking a of really hype, trendy thing. Of course, thing. we hype up sport.com. We want you to go over there, uh, see how the team has rated the newest foods that TikTok is going crazy for. If you see something on TikTok, odds are they've sampled it and given you an unbiased opinion. 
on Spork.com. Why am I opening this? It's out here. Oh, I don't know. But seasoned corn ribs. I know they're probably not good frozen. But it looks like octopus legs. <laughs> so what's do. the point of a corn rib? Oh, I wish I could tell you. This is, oh, yeah, is I can tell you. Is it just a corn like cob it. that's literally just cut? Yep. <laughs> this was like a very viral thing on TikTok. But they got... TikTok and then... Oh, it's a quarter of the quarter. cob. And now you get to think of corn cobs as bones, which is fun, I guess. And you, you, you still just have to eat it off the bone. Yeah. It's less messy. I'm holding it with one hand. And it comes, these are like, they come seasoned with. Butter? Oil. Wait. Plant-based butter. So it's olive oil and cocoa butter and stuff like that. It's yeah, because it's oily. vegan. Mm -hmm. The flavor's not great. Yeah. I would almost say the flavor is actively bad. It's a fun idea. I it, wanted to like this because I was holding it with one hand. Mm hmm It's so, like the, it's so oily tasting though. Like that's all I taste personally is the oil. The flavor is so strange. I, I did eat a whole one. Yeah. Just to make sure. Because I wanted to like it so bad. It's a fun idea. Man, mm -hmm. just do this at home. Mm hmm You got to get a sharp knife though. Yeah, that's going to be hard to... You to cut a cob in half? You gotta be careful. So people have to be hurting themselves. Leave it to Joe. To I would leave it to Joe. Cut these corn cobs up. I know, so I think there is something to be said for like, okay, well they did this for you. But I would say, maybe don't season them. Just let people season their own How about you get you, di you dip it. You dip your rib into to something. Dip would be and good. And I think you wanna cut these before you boil them or before you cook them, right? You, you're gonna cut the raw cob. Is it better than Maybe just with a bandsaw. Mm -hmm. eating an actual corn on the cob? Because when you eat that, you're like, have to. It, That's what it I'm doesn't, saying. It doesn't get in your teeth as much. This yeah, yeah. Way, so I form do like it. Form factor, mm -hmm. which it has been pointed out to me that I say that a lot. <laughs> Good form factor. Not a great flavor profile. I've which also, is also seen another word that I say a lot. When people like make them at home, they'll remove some of the corn. Kernels. Why? <laughs> From the cob, so it has like a handle that you can hold it by. Okay, which I think, is even better. I think the best thing we had is the pickled pups. Now that I'm, now that I've gone through them all, I the hot cocoa is second for me. The yeah. thing I wanted. I would say Trader like. Joe's should keep those pickled pups, um, but I think like back to the drawing board a little bit with the corn ribs. Yeah. I really think if they just sold them plain, that would be so much better. Yeah. And then people who don't want plant-based butter can just eat butter. I don't want plant-based Try them with a squeeze of lime or a sprinkling of cheese and chili, elote style. I mean, they might actually be kind of good with one of these jammers on it. Uh-oh. Am I right? Um. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. They both went, ugh, uh, oof, I oof. don't know. <laughs> We're over it. I We're think, over it. I think we're right. giving it its best shot, fair, corn ribs. Fair enough. Um, well, that's what Trader Joe's has going on. Okay, we'll help you take this all back to your office. Thanks. <laughs> Did you know Dr. Pepper had a new flavor? Curious about Starry? The Spork team has tasted and reviewed the most exciting new products over at spork.com.